Welcome to Musique de la Belle Époque, the program of works by Satie, Souk, Gobert, and others, recorded here at WCQS by members of Panharmonia, violinist Amy Lovinger, pianist Kimberly Can, and flutist Kate Steinbeck. I'm Dick Cole. I asked Kate where the idea for this program came from. Well, I think actually what got me in this direction was seeing the, the film Hugo, Martin Scorsese's film, this past winter which I just found exquisite. And uh, a lot of the background music was uh, Eric Satie's Genocien. And I just thought, I started going in that direction. And, um, you know, there's just something so beautifully romantic about about thinking about the La Belle Époque in Paris. Um, that period of time is generally considered from 1890 to 1914. Um, I think also Woody Allen's film, Midnight in Paris influenced me thinking that way too. And you can imagine um, Musha, the Czech painter, uh, Gustav Klimt in Vienna with his beautiful women with gold. Um, in Paris and France, it was Rousseau, Gauguin, and many, many other painters. Louis Tiffany creating his glass in New York. Um, and I'm, I think for me, iconic thought is um, the, the iron wrought metro signs of Paris, which has a sweet connotation. So the first piece, uh, Joseph Souk, Bagatella with nosegay in hand, is actually <laughs> a little bit on the far side of the Belle, Belle Epoque. It's written in 1917, but no doubt it was influenced by that era. Mm -hmm. And it's just a sweet little tune um, for this setting. Uh, and a nosegay is a little um, kind of flower bouquet tiny that I think you smell when you want to avoid unpleasant smells, <laughs> which sounds very 19th century to me, <laughs> that, uh, that concept. Here is Joseph Sook's Bagatella with Nosegay in hand. It's played by members of Panharmonia, violinist Amy Lovinger, flutist Kate Steinbeck, and pianist Kimberly Can. 